It's a 3 liter 4 line. Hmm? If you're interested in new used or recon cars, head on over to charcast.com and check them out. Hey guys, what's up? So with me here, I have the Isuzu D-MAX X Terrain, which is top of the line of the new D-MAX that has been recently launched. I think not that recent lah, but for me quite recent lah. I've had a few days with it, and I'm telling you, I absolutely love it. So let me walk you through with the specs. It's a 3 liter inline 4 cylinder VGS turbo intercooler diesel, 190 PS, 450 Nm of torque, and it's a 6 speed auto transmission. Now we're at the back, let's head to the front, but before that, let me show you what the back can do. Now, this is a tailgate assist, as you can see. It has that soft opening if I just let it go. And I can use one hand, which is my left hand, and I am right-handed, yeah, so my left hand is actually uh, not as strong to close it and open it. Ta-ta! Now, the back here is something that I've never seen on any other 4x4s before, and that's the sliding cargo tray. Let me show you how it works. So, we have this thing here, and you just push it in, pull it out. Isn't that so easy? But the thing with this, right, so when you go on relief trips, go on relief missions, sometimes there's one person in there who's just trying to arrange everything inside, but with this, you just pull it out, arrange it, and then you push it in. It's so easy to use. But the thing is, huh? You see that inside is already beginning to rust, so we're not sure how long it can last and how sturdy it actually is. So this one only time will tell long. What am I doing with two hands? Let me show you something. Key is in my pocket. See? It's the key. It's in my pocket. <laughs> Keyless entry. And when you walk away, Ta-da! It locks by itself! And um, the side mirrors fold as well. I think it's a very good looking truck with LED DRLs. So yeah, it basically lights up when it's already bright. DRLs! When I first saw it, there are two colours. There's a sapphire blue one and the volcanic orange one which you see here. I saw the sapphire blue one and it just, I was like, mm, no. And they passed me the key to the volcanic orange one and I was like, mm, yes. So I would say, if you needed to choose any colours, I think there are like six colour variants but the others are like black, silver, white, you can get that. You have this grill in front here, it's just very straightforward, there's not much going around and there's very little chrome which I like, not much chrome going around. Fog lights at the side here too, just think it looks very like I can protect you and I like that, it's like I can protect you, I was like okay protect me please. At the side, you have 18 inch wheels. The rims are something that I've never really seen before. It feels like it's a whole rim and the tiger just did. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like and that's what it looks like to me. I'll give A for effort. I don't know <laughs> because it's a design that I never see before and I absolutely adore when car makers nowadays tend to do something out of the ordinary because they dare to dream. They dare to do what others don't do. They dare to break the pattern. Yeah! Kudos to Isuzu, however, I do think that it fits nicely with the rest of the car. Moving to the side of the car, as you can see, there's a side step right here and roof rail. But the thing about Isuzu D-Max is, right, I've sat in other 4x4s and I feel that the height and the seating position of D-Maxes are slightly lower, which I prefer. However, for off-roading, maybe not so much, but for this, yes. You just slide in. See what I mean? But for others, you have to like climb in a bit, which some people like, some people don't like, so it's really your preference. But you can also move the seat higher and then pretend like it's a higher car, so you have to climb in, like, you know? So at the back, you have rear combi lights, LED. I think it looks good. Not too much going on and very straightforward type of design. And it looks good. I think it blends very well and drives very well. So kudos to the design of the new Isuzu D-Max. I actually like it really quite a lot. But all the 4x4s, right? Do you think that all of them just look damn good now? I've been seeing Nissan Navarro on the road, so I'm oh, damn nice. <laughs> and I see Hilux, and I see like all the 4x4s, like, wow, suddenly so nice. Or maybe I'm just more attracted to them right now. 
So this is one way to get in to your 4x4 via the wheels. Um, inside, you have four hooks at the side here. So you can put ropes to tie down your cargo. Very nice, very nice. So let's say, lah, you know, I've been out here, I've been doing my reviews, it's getting very hot now. So I want the car to cool down a bit. Party trick, yo! <laughs> but the thing is, all. See, the thing is, when I actually get to my car, It stops, I have to go in and I have to start the engine all over again. I'm guessing because uh, it's a safety feature, so you cannot remotely start and then people get in and they can just drive off. And you also need the key fob to be inside, so maybe that's why. I'm just guessing. Yeah, let's head on inside now. Alright, so we're in the inside of the Isuzu D-Max and uh, as you can see, this is a 9-inch infotainment system. It is very slow in responsiveness as you can see. Yeah, but it has a compass, bronze sort of display of the clock, but I'm guessing you can change it. But the one thing that I absolutely was amazed when I came in was the buttons here. Now this is all that has to do with the air conditioning or basically and when you turn on the fan these feel so good to the touch and the travel it's it's good solid but this is so plastic like this whole thing i want to take out and jump up ah, every time i come in i have to always connect my bluetooth audio even though it's connected already but when i turn off like lane keep assist and lane departure warning here and I turn off the car and turn it back on my setting stays here but I always have to reconnect my Bluetooth audio every time I come in I don't understand why even though it's just touch here, touch here but still, I should not have to do that it should play automatically Agree? Agree? Can? Can? Mm. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Miracast uh, we tried that, doesn't, didn't get it to work So you have very simple things here so for example your system, audio, display, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi camera but for everything else for example the advanced safety settings everything is here in the meter cluster I'll show you in a bit but yeah let's continue on with here first so I'm um, getting it I, I did not like this it's a huge screen yes but I did not like it the response is very slow to me but the sound system is good though I'll show you guys in a bit keys here I like there's a 12 volt socket USB and auxiliary uh, hole here <laughs> so you can chuchu -choo! um, and then you have your terrain command here basically too high for high and for low you have to push it and turn it to engage and how do you know whether it's engaged is that your light is blinking there and so sometimes when it blinks you have to initiate drive mode when the lights are stagnant then you know like you have engaged it so from 2h to 4h you don't have to push it in but from 4h to 4l you have to push the knob in and turn it maybe it's like a safety feature so very dummy proof <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, I don't really like this whole thing. This is a dust magnet, fingerprint magnet. Um, you have your parking sensors off here. There's a button here. Um, hill descent control and your limited slip differential right here. Moving south, we have two cup holders. So the cup holders, they're very, very long and they're very, very deep. So when you buy cups, you know, from like cafes, for example, Family Mart, I tap out the other day, drink and I put it here. It's just hanging by the, 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 the lid. It's just hanging by the lid. It's not even touching the bottom. So at first I was like, hey, it's quite nice. It's quite deep you can put a lot of stuff in it but after that I'm like hmm it's not suitable for a lot of drinks however if you even have like a bigger bottle 1.5 liter you can definitely put it in the door cabin uh, storage at the side here yeah you have your hand rest and you have storage it's quite a bit of storage you know like it's an Isuzu when they have this yeah this is only found like I only seen it in D Maxes MUX also has one oh there's another storage area here I think this is very good like there's a lot of storage space <laughs> I utilize it a lot uh, glove compartment yeah so this is eight way powered seating however there's no memory seats so if you want to say higher you just say higher lah yeah this is the highest you can go look at that look at that the powered seats only come for the driver side the passenger side is like ayah you can't yourself so everything is still very manual over there there's another wrap that is tilt and telescopic mm -hmm. ayah 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 Okay, and the meter cluster. So the meter cluster is very straightforward. You have your odometer on the left and your speedometer on the right. And in the middle is where you play with like your trip A, trip B, and then you can calculate. Oh, 
you can calculate your fuel efficiency here as well and then you have the settings so in settings there's so many things in settings but I feel like it's a bit too much to put in such a small screen I feel like that to be transported here would be better and this one just keep it as simple as possible because you don't want to constantly play with this and I tell you uh, it's so small there's so many things jam packed in that small screen even I'm complaining oh, sorry good and bad thing the hazard lights are here so immediately you can just touch here you know when you say thank you or when you just want to stop the car by the side of the road yeah it's very good bad thing is it took me quite a while to find it because I'm sure I like to sit low so when I came in I was sitting like this so when I overtook a car just now I was looking for the hazard light I couldn't see the hazard light and um, yeah it took me a while so I was saying thank you in my hand and then only I found that it was here lah yeah. Uh, <laughs> top here, so you have a uh, black headlining. You put your sunglasses here or whatever glasses you want. Put your visor. Put. Wait, come on. Hey, get, get, get. No, it doesn't. Coming back to the steering wheel, you have your button here. So this one has all to do with your media and your phone, and then here has everything to do with your safety systems. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Your side mirror is super huge, and for the design, it's leather seats, brown leather seats. Honestly, I'm not liking the brown. I don't know. But if people actually like the brown, I'm guessing there are because there are all types of people in this world. I personally don't like brown leather. I don't like any leather. I just don't like it. It's dual tone, which is what Malaysians like. Like they want a bit of mixture. And it's a colour that when it gets dirty, you can't really see like white, which is also something like it ticks the boxes, yeah, yeah. And I guess the combination is not bad, you know, you know, like it's not like it doesn't it's like okay, acceptable, acceptable. Side here you have a compartment, cannot really put much stuff. Uh, you can off your traction control here so you can skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
that it sits a bit lower so I get more confident like going up here like that even with the load at the back took it on a relief mission no difficulties at all just the kanju and it will go the 3 liter man as you've heard just now the engine sound is very very loud so let's say now I'm like cruising at 60 kmh and I choose to accelerate so let's try accelerating It's very very loud, um, wind noise is very very loud But I've driven around in the city with it, I've done long distance with it um, I've done a relief mission with it And I must say, the diesel consumption is very very good With a full tank of diesel, went uh, city driving from Segambut, Shalam back uh, Went Karak back for a relief mission and then went to Ipoh And a bit of driving around here and there So yeah, I would say, damn only when we were leaving from Ipoh, then I said, okay, there's about 250 km left, so we refuel. But apart from that, yeah. Also, the visibility is very good. I mean, it's a pickup drop gun. Side mirrors are huge. Um, oh, the suspension, because the front is a uh, wishbone, individual wishbone left and right, but it still leaves springs on the back. So when it goes over like a pothole or something, gun, I feel like this whole car transforms to the Ogawa. You know the one where you sit down and then it jiggle your fence like, yeah, I can feel all my fence just doing a drrr and it just stays there for a while, you know. I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I like that it jiggles my fence so I feel like I'm burning fat. But then again, I don't think it's very comfortable for passengers though. But yeah, sits rather low so it's very nice to drive. Like, I can like pretend a bit more, I feel more confident in the corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. Braking is good, so I have no qualms with the brakes or the acceleration. This is good. The other thing that's good about it, gun. At first, I didn't really like the sounds at all because it's like so clear, it's too clear. But then I slowly started to appreciate it. I was like, mm, actually, the sound system is very, very good. It's like eight speakers around sound, Hamon Kadon, if I'm not wrong. <gasps> I forgot to show you the most important feature! Like, Isuzu does it best. Whereby they put the cup holders by the aircon vents. Oh! Best! So you know you go off already, uh. that's important. Like music is important. Of course you have to focus lah, uh, but you know at night when you're chilling, like sound system is important and where you hold your drinks is important. It's just rather noisy, the incandent noise. So for example, like driving on the highway, you, you can you have to really scream to talk to your passengers. You can't really talk to them at a normal frequency like how I'm talking to you now. Driving on a highway, you're going at about 120, let's say 110, 120, then there's wind noise, um, but you get into high revs and when you're cruising, you don't really have the engine noise anymore because you're just like there already, it doesn't have to really uh, accelerate, so you just keep cruising. Okay, the other thing that I really appreciate is the indicator sound. The indicator sound sounds so good. Sometimes I feel like this car is very, it's a, it's a mixture, you know. Like I see the seats, I'm like, wow, which are premium. I actually like these seats quite a bit. But then when I'm driving long distance, gun, the seats don't really do, like, I'm not really comfortable. But when as a passenger, like, I'm really comfortable. So I'm very confused, huh? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize I would reach this kind of dilemma, huh? but I did. So I'm sharing it with you guys. So, eh, hey, hey, hello. Hey, boss. You make my lane, huh? You naughty. So let me show you the indicator sound. Oh, nice, gun. I think so too. That's about it guys. Let me know your thoughts on the Isuzu D-Max and let me know what else you would like me to cover for our next car review. Yes, it's our, it's our channel, our next car review. I'm here to bring you entertainment and service and if I'm not entertaining enough then you have to let me know but I feel like I'm quite entertaining one life. Have a good week ahead guys. Stay safe, um, be kind.